Hey guys, I'm over here. What exit are you? One, uh, I'm over here at 181 here on uh, 59 at a Petro. There's a truck wash over here, and I'm listening to the uh, to her on the radio. So check this out. You want to tell the guys who you are? And My name is uh, Jacqueline Hampton. I work at Steel uh, Steel and Petro over here on exit 181. Okay. And you guys wash all big trucks, straight trucks? We wash um, all kinds. We wash hopper bottoms, box, and course truck, tractor, okay. um, low boys, just hey. about feeder trucks, uh, bulk tractors, all of them. You do washouts too? Mm-hmm. We do okay. all washouts. Now so and sanitizer. Now is it just trucks or if you had one of these RVs that came through here? We could do all of them. We could do camper trailers, just about anything you want. Okay. It's a twenty dollar minimum. All right. And what is your? I heard something about thirty. How much it's is your? It's a truck wash. Basic truck wash starts at thirty five. Okay. And guys, they have nobody in the bay right now. So if you guys were actually wanting to get a truck wash instead of going to a Blue Beacon, and I'm sorry, Blue Beacon, but <laughs> if you don't want to be in that line, you can be here, get your truck wash, and get it out. I was actually watching you guys. You guys had the brushes in that. Yeah, we so. hand brush them. Okay. We hand brush them and. For a good price, standard price is $100 and we'll brush your trailer. There you go. I, I'm going to put their description. I got their card. I'm going to put it down in the description box. Check them out, guys. You're going right, to get busy. Thank you. you bet. Big wheels rolling. Big wheels rolling. Moving on. Big wheels rolling. I got to keep them going. Big wheels rolling, moving on. The white line is a lifeline to a nation. And men like Will and Sonny make me. Well, good morning, guys. It is the next day. Um, we're actually at our delivery. First delivery. Yeah. And uh, after this, we got to go to Birmingham. But I'm going to make a phone call when I'm empty and see if I can bump up with somebody. And see if he's got the time. Uh, I'm only 262 miles to my next delivery. Uh, let's see here. Four hours and 39 minutes. So as long as I can get over there, because I got a 5:30 a.m. delivery. So as long as I can get up there, take my break, find something close, and take my break, we'll be okay. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, I thought I was going to a warehouse. It's it's kind of like a warehouse, but it's not like a... I don't know if you guys can see, really. But uh, it's not like a regular warehouse. This is like a little mom and pa. I thought I was going to the wrong place. I thought Rondo was lying to me. But, uh, but anyway, this is... Uh, I, I just, the next day, putting up the video. Or, just, you know, letting you guys know it is the next day. So... I'm sorry if, if the video didn't get up this morning uh, on time, but I will render it today. I'll have time, and uh, and I'll get it up. I won't make you guys wait. I'll get it up. So, and uh, I just I got tired. I ate last night, and the next thing I know, I got really 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 sleepy. Uh, I set the dish up, but I think inside of 30 minutes I was out. So, but we will get it rendered today. Which, yeah, you, know, you guys will see it today. It did be up a little late. So, but anyway, thank you for chiming in. You want to say hi? How about you? You want to say hi? Pooh Bear. You say hi? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to make more video today. See ya. See ya. <laughs> All right. With that being said, God bless. We'll see you guys later. Later. Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Yes. We are on I-75 South. We made a delivery this morning in Knoxville. We're not too far from Chattanooga, and we're on our way to Birmingham for 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. So we're going to go down there and get ourselves set up so we can make that delivery. Yes, absolutely. Today is July 24th, 2016. Looks like we're about 18 miles to Chattanooga. Ch Chattanooga, Tennessee. Oh, yeah.
I was sitting in a truck stop down in South Alabama when this young gear jammer walked in. Looking like the road and that big diesel had worn him plumb out. He looked around and seeing he couldn't find an empty table, he asked if he could join me. I said, well sure son, pull up a chair. We talked over breakfast about a lot of the problems out on the road and about halfway through his second cup of coffee, he leaned back in his chair and said, old timer, you got any tips for a greenhorn like me? I just grinned and here's what I told him. Yeah, for 30 some years I've been driving big rigs. I put in a lot of hard miles. Had a lot of long hauls and a few close calls. Missed a turn maybe once in a while. But I've learned a lot in between truck stops and I still got some lessons to go. My advice is all free And since you ask me I'll tell you some of what I know Try out your brakes and never tailgate Always stop and help and make friends Try to make time but read all the signs If you're trucking where you ain't been Check all your lights and keep your log right Son, don't you pass on the hill Don't haul the road and don't overload and don't Fall asleep at the wheel Well, he sat there and looked at me, and I don't know if he believed everything I told him or not. But he said thanks, and then he got up, paid his bill, and walked on out and got in his rig and drove away. You know, by the time he's been on the road as long as I have, he's going to find out there's a lot of things that I didn't tell him. Like, watch out for bears, truck stop affairs, stay off the liquor and pills. Pinball machines and dishonest things, be sure you stop at all scales. Turn on your ears, don't strip the gear. Yeah, we're in Georgia right now. Yeah, we got to deliver at 5 a.m. Rhonda says we'll be there at 1.49 this afternoon. I'm not going to drive straight to the customer, obviously. I'm going to find me a truck stop, but... But we're going to get over there by our delivery. So we can relax for the rest of the afternoon. Right up here is the state line somewhere. But yeah, we're in Georgia. We're on. I probably already said it. If I did, I apologize. But we're on 59. Well, we're gonna stop. We're gonna fuel up the reefer. Put some, put some fuel in my truck. And we're within five miles of the Alabama state line. We're still in Georgia, though. Good place to fuel. Fuel is cheap. Yeah, I'm on that same 100 gallon I got when I was in Nebraska at that Loves. Or was it the Loves? Where did I feel? I fueled somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. I was at a Loves up in Nebraska. Same fuel. <coughs> but we're 1,500 pounds lighter because I delivered in Chagan or uh, Knoxville. Or I, yeah, I delivered in Knoxville. Well, oh, that's a skinny road. I'm sure glad I don't have to go that way.
But I don't need that reefer to run out of fuel. That's a fact. It's too dang hot for that. I just gotta find where the fuel island is. It's probably up here. There it is. I'll wait for Big Truck to get by so I can get in here. Don't need no depth though. Just need fuel. Reefer and, and truck fuel. Oh yeah.
Oh yeah. People kind of look at you funny when you're recording something. What is he doing? I'm a spy. This is what I do. Be right back. Yeah, we are done for the day. Yeah, we've been we we actually been done for about three hours now. I'm just sitting here rendering my videos. And uh, but we're sitting we're exactly 59 59 miles. I think that's what it said. But we're at the petrol here. I don't know what town we're in. What town are we in? Oh, I'll tell you. I am in Gladstone, Alabama. G A D S D E N. Gladstone. And it's 93 degrees here. <coughs> but we're at a petrol. And uh, we're going to get up. Well, I can be there in an hour, but I, I want to be an hour early. See? So we're going to be there a little earlier than that. But anyway, look at my boys. And my girl, my girl, and my boys. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. Hey, Pooh Bear, you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? Say hi. <coughs> good boy. You're a good boy. I still love my Pooh Bear guys. I do play with him and I pet him all the time. And I play with these guys all the time. <laughs> but anyway. I'm going to go ahead and make this short because I'm in the middle of rendering and I need this clip. Sometimes when you don't see an end, it's because I forgot to put a clip. But, uh, <laughs> so I got to put this clip on there. So, anyway, we're going to get out of here. Thank you for watching. Hey, we love you guys. Seriously, we do. I hope everybody has a great day tomorrow. Hope everybody had a great day today. That being said, God bless. Good night. We will see you guys tomorrow morning. That being said, later.